going on, guys? I wanted to talk to you about this situation. It's really something that's going on with the MMA fighter Jake Shields, Nick Fuentes, and Tim Poole. It's getting crazy. Getting crazy. There's loud motorcycles outside, too. Just ignore that. But it's getting crazy. Let me pull this up, fam. I might have to censor it a lot because of the type of things that's being said. You ain't going to get me canceled in these streets. F that. I don't care what nobody say. I can't hear nobody say, but let's check this out now. Let's get into this. Hit the like button, share the video as well, fam. Okay, where's my camera at? Where's my camera at? There I am. All right, so if you can see, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter too as well. Make sure you follow me. If you can see here, right? Jake Shields made a post. I don't know if something went down before this that got them beefing, but Jake Shields, MMA fighter that I respect, man, high level black belt, did a lot of great things in Strike Force for GSP. He uh, has been trying to do his podcast thing. I'm talking about like it feels like it's brand spanking new. Just started doing a bunch of interviews and posting it. He's been doing a podcast tour, but when it comes to making his own podcast, right? It's not like the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Our filters might be taking it out, but if not, then y'all hear it the way I hear it, right? Apologize for that. Um, now, he's been starting this podcast and putting out episodes of him interviewing people, just doing things like that, right? And it seems like he has something to say about Tim Pool. Tim Pool said, if he had Nick Fuentes, <laughs> yo, I really do, but I don't know what's going on. It's really late at night when I'm recording and I'm talking about like maybe three, four in the morning. So I don't understand. Let's just keep going. I'm ignoring it. Um, Tim Poole said if he had Nick Fuentes on, it would cost a hundred thousand in security. Be unsafe for his, uh, you know, no hate, no disdain for the Jewish community out here in these streets, employees, and he uh, couldn't put it on YouTube. I had Nick Fuentes on and I spent zero on security because you are the security. <laughs> You're a high level black belt. On security, my Jewish employee really liked Nick and I placed the episode on my YouTube. Well, I'm going to be fair. I do respect the fact that you're getting in there and, you know, not going with the woke agenda and actually saying your opinion. But you just started, it seems like, with this YouTube stuff. You might not know all the like guidelines, but Nick Fuentes, he says a lot of things that could get you banned. So a lot of things that got him banned, right? So I do understand Tim Pool's cautiousness, right? And is that the correct way to say it? I understand him being cautious and wanting to be, you know, just safe in general. A lot of people try to play you. Right. When you do things like that, like me, I like to make sure that it's clear that I have no hate of this thing for any community in particular. Right. Or anybody. I'm just giving my opinion. And a lot of people are mad because I say that. They upset. Right. Why do you have to say it in every, every video? Shut up. Shut up. Oh, you know what? Don't. It helps me comment as much as you like. Right. Um, But fam, we got to do what ever we have to do to protect our channels, bro. Like we monetize this. This is how we earn income, right? It's best to make sure that you follow the guidelines of the platform that you're on. Now, uh, Tim Pool responds, Jake Shields got scared and edited a pre-recorded show before uploading. Tell the truth, Jake. He did edit the pre-recorded show. I don't blame him for that either, right? It seems like both of them are taking their their ways to be cautious and protect their channels and revenue and yada, 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 right? Tim Pool, he'd rather just not even have him on there, I guess. Or if he did, he would have to spend on these things. And Jake Shields, on the other hand, is editing the content, uploading it in that format, right? Now, I do believe Jake responded and <laughs> was going in. I can't scroll down because it gets filthy, in this comment section, you don't have to go on, uh, okay, X, I was about to say Twitter, and check for yourself. What I will show you is this update with Tim Pool going in even more, right? He posts this video, hopefully it plays, of the interview that Jake Shields did. 
Hold on, guys. Let me make sure the audio is working for you guys too as well. Oh, oh scroll up. You know, Twitter, Twitter get nasty. Twitter get nasty just in case I want to play it safe. You know what I mean? And I, just to be clear too as well, I have no hate or disdain for any community in any way, shape, or form. Just make sure this audio works. And you should hear this. Point is, is like, there's many factions, whether they're <laughs> Whatever they are. What they have in common is they're on the same team. Point is yeah, that's added it like crazy. So Tim Pool posted saying, ha ha ha, holy F. Dude didn't even try to do the show on YouTube. Pre recorded, heavily censored. Yikes. I think the clip or the, like the full video is on YouTube, but um it is heavily um hev heavily. It sounded like I was saying heavenly. Heavy, heavy. <laughs> I'm on that greeny, green, green. <laughs> it me messing up a word is funny to me. He heavily. He whatever. You know what the hell I mean. Um, it's, it is extremely edited. But I understand Nick Fuentes don't really have a filter. Right? I'm not even condemning anyone for interviewing him in any way, shape, or form, right? Jay Shields wants to do that, and he wants to do it in a way the way he can continue to build his platform. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I, tr I truly don't. I, I really don't understand right? the issue with both of them. It just seems like they don't like each other, and they're just flexing. It seems like they don't like each other, and they're flexing and just showing off, you know, just going back and forth. It's okay if you edit your podcast and upload it, and it's fine if you choose to be selective with who you interview or if you have your own process temple. I don't really think it's a, a big deal. I think it's some kind of personal beef. Now, I do think this can lead to them linking and maybe having an excellent conversation. Right? I've seen a lot of Jake Shields interviews, man. I got a lot of respect for Jake Shields and I got some respect or well, a lot of respect. Let me not make it seem like it's less than. I got a lot of respect for Tim Pool as well, fam. And this dude is a good businessman. He works hard. This dude's putting out crazy amounts of content. So I can't hate on him in any way, shape or form. Right. Um, he's grinding and I agree with him in a lot of things. Right. Um, some things I might disagree with him on, but that's all right to have opinions. Right, when it comes to Jake Shields, he, he's killing it. I, I would love to hear more of what he has to say. I think they just need to resolve the beef. Right? And they gotta figure it out. They gotta figure it out. I bet you if they talk, they'll realize it's not really anything that's anything important. You know what I mean? But tell me what you think down in the comment section. If you have any updates and you wanna let me know, so I got to update people. Let me know <laughs> via Instagram, uh, DMs, or email. Discord is even better. Join my Discord is free. Also, check the links in the description. Got a bunch of dope stuff in there, all my social medias, and my $1 Patreon. That's right. I got Patreons for a dollar. That sounded crazy. Sign up if you want to support me, man. It really does help me throughout my uh, growth process.